OK. So on this problem, we got an issue. Because they're trying to say what two angles are, are these two triangles similar? But we only have like one triangle in there. So Amani, do you see two triangles up here? Amani, do you see two triangles in here? Exactly, those shouldn't even be done. Do you see two triangles up here? Yeah. Up here. You see two of them? Yeah. OK. So oh, I'm sorry, this is x. Do you kind of see like this bigger triangle and the smaller triangle? You can take that back up. You can take it back up. You can take it back up. You can take it back up. So there's two triangles, all right? So when you guys are going to be doing similarity, what I would highly recommend is that you separate them, OK? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw the triangles separated. Now let's go and write in the lengths. We know that that's R, T, and S. This length is 3. This length is 12, right? Everybody agree with that? OK. Um, and then the next one, okay. oh, I'm sorry. They also said that's 90 degrees as well. Then the next one, they said this is 5. And then they said this is x, though, <coughs> right? OK. So to prove congruency, we either need to, sh I'm sorry, to prove similarity, we either need to prove that two of the angles are the same, right? Or we can show that um, not only are the angles the same, but also that their side lengths are congruent. Well, ladies and gentlemen, since these are both right triangles and they share the same angle, can we actually show that these are congruent or these are similar to each other? Yeah, they both already have right angles, and they both share the same angle. So I could actually just say right now that these are two similar. However, another way to do it would be to say, well, if I can show that these two sides are congruent and these two sides are congruent. So just to do it this way real quick, I could always write a proportion as 3 is to 5 as 12 is to x. When I cross multiply this way, So 5 is a 20. So then I'd say, is 5 is to 20 as, uh, I'm sorry, is 5 is to 3 as 20 is to 12? What? So what I did, this length is 20. So I wrote a proportion for your side lengths. Is 5 is to 3 as 20 is to 12? Are those equivalent proportions? Yeah. Where did you get 20? I found these two angles, x, I created a proportion, used cross multiplying, and then solved for 20 right here. So I set a proportion as 3 is to 5 as 12 was to x. Set up the proportion, cross multiply, and got there. Are these two the same? What happens if you divide the top and bottom by 4? That's 20 over 12. Then yeah, it is the same. So you have two proportions for side lengths that are same, as well as an included angle that is the same. So there's two different ways you guys could say you have similarity, either side, um, side, angle, side, or by just using angle, angle, since they both share an angle. Okay. Right. Yep. 